We jumped in a van and headed up the Sierra Nevada mountains to go to a harmonary. It was like a godfather town, wasn't it? Yeah. You live around here? How do you say that? Very Sicilian. Weird. It might look like local. Oh! This might look like we're at some sort of science lab, but we're actually at Antonio Alvarez's Hamon house. I feel quite comfortable in this get up. I feel super weird. <laughs> this is where we get to see the process from start to finish. This is not just any Hamon, it's as good as it gets. It's yep. the best in Spain. Hamon is not the end product, it's the cut. The leg of the pork is the Hamon. I'm excited to see how this all works. Have you seen a pig? In wild no, I have Spain? not seen one, one wild pig in Spain, and yet I've seen, I reckon, 20,000 legs. There's a lot of pigs running around without legs. Well, they can't run. <laughs> oh, welcome to the salting room. These guys stay in here for one kilo per day, so if it's a nine kilo ham, nine days. This technique has been around for yeah. thousands of years. I mean, this was the, the first way of preserving, so this is quite cool to see it's still done like this in today's age. Freezing. Let's get out. So after the hams have been salted, they then get washed and hung in here for around 90 days at a controlled temperature. How's your ham? Oh man, so much ham. And now we're at aging. These guys stay in here for about a year. I've got a little birth certificate, which is right here, which has got all the information that you need to know on it. There's about 25,000 legs of Hamon in here. So, so far we've seen about 35,000 legs and we're about halfway through the process. We're on the way to the last stage. What we think is the last stage anyway, which is hang your pig for longer. So this is the last stage of the process. This is where they hang the hamon at an ambient temperature and they cover it in a layer of fat to protect it against any insects. And they'll hang in here for between 10 and 48 months, depending on the size and the quality of the end. Come for a walk with us and we'll explain how many are here. There's 20,000 in this room, which gives us 55,000 all up that we've seen in all four rooms. They sell anywhere from about 350 euro to 500 euro per leg. Doing the maths on that, what's that give us? Around 27 and a half million euro. So, the only thing to do now is taste. So we've walked up the hill and came to this bad boy. This is the last step before we can actually eat and it's carving. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, these? Yeah. Mate, next time you come to my house, I'm going to give you a set of these at the front door. So yeah, you don't never have to before. vacuum again. Exactly, we're... exactly. We obviously don't know what we're doing when we're carving this, so we've got an expert here to show us. So Pedro, get us going. So the butcher's knife is to get rid of the skin and any excess fat. Paring knife is to get the bone out to carve around the bone. And then last of all, the long, skinny, flexible knife is to carve as thin slices as you possibly can. And thinner is better. You get more surface area, more taste, and it's meant to melt on your tongue, so you want it to be nice and thin. Very much a sawing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I thought he used the whole blade. Yeah, same. Can I have a go? Me? See? Go for yeah. it. Radio. Yeah, right. No hand. Aye, aye. <laughs> Thinner? Thinner, bro, thinner. Despacio, despacio. Oh! Slowly. Despacio. Relax, relax. Take a deep breath. Stop yelling at me. Oh, no, no, Pedro. Oh. Yelling at Pedro. <laughs> Fina, despacio. Andy, what's that thinner. mean? I thought he was saying thinner, thinner. Yeah. But Which I don't was. Know. But I think thinner. Thinner is in. means sm smaller. Yeah. Oh, he's, got, he's, got okay, feel, okay. he's got the feel for it. Poquito. Yeah, poquito. We were trying to get long, like we've seen, yeah. these long little, what would you call them? Slivers. Yes, sir. Not bad. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. I just got a muy bien, which means very good, so I'm happy with that. Ready, boss? Yep. You're going to freak him out with your left hand. I know. Same thing. But it was actually quite tough, yeah. the meat. And because when you, when you think of mine, you put it in and it melts in your mouth. I thought it would have just been like yeah. slicing through butter. Yeah. Hit on the back. Yeah. It's good. Martin. Martin. Yeah, man. Martin. Can't believe this one. Martin and the other. Sorry. Martin and Martin. I think we've realised that there is an actual For art you? to slicing yes. on. Ah. Oh. oh, that looks good. There we go. Lunch, Fina. There's one more thing we have to do: is eat it. 
Oh, Pedro, make sure I get a real nice big piece, buddy. Oh. Oh. Is this The more you chew it, the better it gets. I was about to say the exact same thing. Keep chewing it, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Pedro, thank you very much. Gracias. 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 Now we're going to go and have lunch. Please, no ham. Oh, I'm having ham. Hey, it's Andy. Here's an idea. Subscribe to my channel, watch my vids, cook my food, and repeat. <laughs>